friends, it's your girl, Tamkin Spies, and I'm back with another video on tools and tech for body and beauty. And this is one of my most favorite topics to talk about on YouTube. And it's actually one of the topics that's most requested by you guys is we're gonna talk about the MLA RF01 again. This time we're gonna talk about using the MLA RF01 device to do an at-home breast lift. questions from some of you guys, some of my friends, as to whether or not there's any way to do non-surgical breast lift. And of course, there are many things that you can do out there to get perkier boobs and keep your girls healthy and keep your girls as young as possible, some of which includes having a healthy lifestyle, doing exercise, doing proper skincare for your girls because you know skin is all over you, not just on your face. So when you do skincare, you have to remember to take care of your girls as well. There are surgical methods, which you're trying to avoid here if you're watching this video, which is actually doing a breast lift where they do many different styles of incisions, but there is a cut that is made and skin that is removed from your breast in order to create a perkier lift. Sometimes doing a breast augmentation without a lift can create a lifting effect just because there's more volume to fill up that skin. So it could have a lifting effect, not a real lift. But ultimately, if you're looking for a non-surgical way to get perkier girls, I would recommend the way to do it is to tighten the skin of the breast to create a lifted look on the breast. And when it comes to skin tightening, radio frequency is really hot on the market right now. Radio frequency and HIFU, which is the high intensity focus ultrasound, these are the two technologies that are being used the most right now for skin tightening effects and anti-aging. And I have been using personally the RF MLA01 to treat my tummy tuck dog ears. So you can check out a couple of videos I have on the tummy tuck dog ears. I have been using it on my jawline. Obviously my jawline looks extremely snatched right now and that's because I had a chin implant recently. So I can't say that. I don't have the data to tell you that the Emily RF01 is what gave me a snatched jawline because I also got a chin implant and a chin implant definitely has an impact on stretching the skin of your jawline because now there's an implant. But when it comes to your breasts, there's a lot of area of skin involved. And with time, you'll see kind of fine lines and wrinkles on your breasts as well, especially if you go out and suntan a lot, if you lay out on the beach, your breasts are seeing more sun. Obviously your breasts are not just out in the sun. I mean, here in the States, not maybe in Europe, who knows? But one thing that I have done to tighten skin in general, and I've seen results, is using my MLA RF01 device. So I figure why not use it on the breast too to create a lifting and firming effect and it does work. But you have to remember and take my word for it, radio frequency is a marathon, not a sprint. There are devices that will cause a very immediate tightening of the skin, such as body tight. I have a video about body tight if you guys want to check that out. I have done body tight, but that's a surgical procedure. Renuvion and body tight are technologies where they take a probe underneath your skin and they burn the bottom inside of your skin in order to immediately damage that collagen, create an actual burn, and then let your body heal from that burn with tighter skin. I've had that done on my inner thighs and I'm really, really happy with the results. I think doing body tight or Renuvion J Plasma can produce up to a 40 to 50% of the effect that you would get from doing a surgical procedure such as a thigh lift. Um, I can't say for a tummy tuck because I actually had the full tummy tuck done, but I do have a little bit of extra skin still left. When I sit, it creates kind of a dimpling effect. I do use my MLA RF01 device to tighten my stomach skin as well. I do this stuff only once a month in order to allow my skin to have time to heal between the damage that I'm causing it with the radio frequency. So this is definitely not something, I know a lot of you say, oh, you know, I do this once a week or three times a week, even on Amazon. I, I am gonna link this product, by the way, on Amazon, you see the reviews where people are talking about, oh, I use it every day. What are you doing? You gotta give your skin a chance to come back from the damage that you've done. You can't just like continue to break down your collagen without giving it a chance to heal. So that is why I only do MLA RF01 once a month per body part. That doesn't mean I'm only using this machine once a month. It'll be like, hey, this week I'll do my boobs. Next weekend, I'll do my dog ears. The following weekend, I'll do my stomach. The following weekend, I'll do my inner thighs. 
but each body part will have a month of time to heal until I take my wand to that body part again. So stay tuned. I, I am going to show you what I do. Unfortunately, in order for you to do the breast tightening, you are going to have to get naked and I'm all about being naked, but I'm not going to be naked on YouTube for you. And I don't think that's appropriate. And this is not that type of channel. Okay. But for you, I will take off my shirt and I will have, I will keep my undergarments on. And what you're going to see in the next clip is I'm actually going to take my chin strap. This is a bandage that I use to, to keep my chin from swelling after my chin implant. So I'm going to use this in order to really secure the girls because none of you are going to get a damn peep. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to use this wrap around my chest secure. I'm going to keep my bra on, but you do have to remember what I'm going to show you. You will have to do, if you have the machine, you will have to do this all the way around the breast. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the wand and you're going to start at the nipple. Let's say my face is the nipple. Okay, guys, my face is the nipple. You're going to work out all the way out from the nipple, all the way around your breast. And if you have a lot of sagging and you want to focus more of an upward lift more rather than like a full full around firming you can focus a little bit more and taking it all the way up to the collarbone and down it's going to feel very warm it's going to feel nice like a hot stone massage but do not hold your wand in the same place for too long because it can result in a burn and always make sure to use an electro gel with it i'm going to link my spectra gel below as well and with that um let's go ahead and get started i'm going to take off my shirt and i'm going to show you what i'm doing and yeah. All right, I'm gonna show you guys how it's done. Uh, I am wearing a bra, okay? And the reason that I have this bandage over my chest is because you actually cannot do this with a bra on, <laughs> but I'm not gonna take my bra off because this is not that kind of channel, okay? I don't have an OnlyFans account. This is a tools and tech for body and beauty channel. This is not that type of channel, guys. Get your mind out the gutter. Okay, here we go. I've got my MLA RF01 device. It's on, it's whirring, you can hear it. Okay, it's working. So now here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna let it um, stay warm, keeping my, my girl secure. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the small head of the MLA RF01. Oh my gosh, it's fallen out. Hold on. This is, okay. You guys, when you guys do this at home, obviously you're not gonna have your bra on. You can just chill and just do this. This is only to show you how you can do it, okay? So you turn it on. I usually just put the electrode gel right onto the tip. So I'm gonna put a little bit there. You see that? And then I go ahead and I put it on level three. I time it only for 10 minutes. Put it on level three and get started. The way I do it, is obviously I get the gel all over it. I just move it upward and down, up and down, up and down. And then I just do this same action all the way around the breast, which you cannot do if you have a bra on, but I'm just gonna show you the top part. Just do it all the way, just keep it moving and do one boob per session. So 10 minutes on this boob and you're gonna feel the warmth and you're gonna do 10 minutes on the other boob. So a way, if you have a lot of sagging and a lot of extra skin, this is another technique you can do to really help the skin shrink up here. If the, tight, if the skin up here is tightening, you can imagine how it can cause a lifting effect, a breast lifting effect through the radio frequency. So if you have a lot of sagging, what I would recommend you do is you take all the way up to, to your, over your pectoral. So if you do this, there's going to be more area of skin that's going to shrink. And then, you know, remember guys, you're only going to do this once a month. So you need to give your skin a chance to be able to heal from the damage that the radio frequency is causing. And once your skin has a chance to heal, you're going to see a little bit of tightening and then do it again the next month and do it again the next month and do it again the next month. So obviously I'm not going to be able to show you guys too much because I am not going to get naked on this channel absolutely ridiculous oh okay this is it this is as far as we're gonna go on this channel do this for both breasts remember to go under as well go all the way around you're gonna pull from the the nipple up and back up and back 
You're gonna do this motion up and back all the way around and around and around for 10 minutes on one breast, 10 minutes on the other breast. Use a lot of gel to prevent yourself from burning. That is how you do uh, MLA RF01 radio frequency breast lift at home. You're gonna need a few months before you start seeing results. It's not just gonna be like, boom, there's a result. You continue to do this month after month, you'll start noticing a lifting effect over many months. So, you know, it's not gonna give you a surgical result. Obviously you need surgery for a surgical result, but it can give you over time a result comparable to doing something with J plasma, RF microneedling, and other radio frequency related things. All you're doing is you're conducting damage to your skin and under your skin to the collagen. Skin is forced to produce new collagen. New collagen will create a little bit of a shrinking effect on the skin. So there you go. That's enough, I'm gonna put my clothes back on. All right guys, well I hope you enjoyed that because that was very uncomfortable for me to do and hopefully none of my coworkers watched that video. Anyways, I hope that video was very helpful for you and if you like videos like this for tools and tech for body and beauty, please consider subscribing to my channel as a small YouTuber, every subscriber counts. If you have more questions, please leave a comment below and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and let me know if you're a new subscriber so I can say hi. All right, guys, have a wonderful day, and I hope that your boobies go up all the way up and they get stuck in the up position. Thank you, Cardi, for that. Bye, guys. Have a great week. See you soon.